Let's talk about the profiles of chlorella versus spirulina and what would be beneficial for both for certain people. Excellent. Well, um, as I mentioned, spirulina algae was the first plant life on Earth four billion years ago, and it was chlorella came about a billion years later. Um, spirulina is technically a bacteria, and the reason why that's important is because um, it has no cellulose wall on the outside, so it gets absorbed into your um, bloodstream very quickly, and that's why our first customers are actually endurance athletes and Olympic athletes, and we now feel five NH NHL teams. So, um, and so much sports nutrition is full of carbs and sugar, which causes stomach distress. So spirulina, um, because of the nutrient profile, uh, both of them are very high in protein, um, but not uh, in a way that would stimulate what's called the mTOR pathway. This is plant-based protein, so it's really healthy for you. Um, so, and all the proteins in amino acids, so again, your body doesn't have to work to get access right. to it. So the nutrients, both of them have 40 vitamins and minerals, but the, the spirulina gets absorbed quickly, gives you energy mentally and physically, um, Part of that is because of the omega-3s, because of the B vitamins. It also satisfies your hunger. We have people that, you know, doctors and truck drivers or, you know, um, just really busy people, professionals on the road, moms, you just don't have time to eat. And if you aren't eating in a, in a way that's, you know, healthy, like with some time, you know, you're gonna get indigestion. So you can bang back a handful of these, or if five works for you, most people we find need 20 or 30, but uh, whatever, again, whatever works for you, your hunger will be gone for, you know, two or three hours. Um, your alertness will be, this is the athletes, they were stunned at how much alertness they got from the algae. So it's very much an energizing algae, which is why we call our spirulina energy bits, because we wanted brands to, um, the names to reflect what the product does. It also, because of the protein, it also helps your skin and hair health. I used to laugh because we have a couple of young guys working for us. They used to have to get haircuts twice, twice as frequently because their hair was growing so oh fast. Oh my gosh. Um, and your skin, because of the, it's alkaline, because of the protein, your skin's collagen, your skin will um, uh, certainly look more um, fresh and you'll have less breakout. So we, um, and I found when after a couple of years of selling the energy bits, we weren't getting a lot of female customers. And remember, I started the company because of my sister, so yeah. women's health is really important to me. So my girlfriend said, you gotta make it pink and give it a cute name. So <laughs> Beauty Bits were born. Yes. Um, so we promote Beauty Bits to the spa community and the beauty, um, but it does the same thing as Energy Bits. So, so that's spirulina gives you um, energy mentally and physically, satisfies your hunger, builds your, your uh, skin and your hair health. And then, is Beauty Bits straight spirulina or is it's a yes. blend? In both cases, they are completely, yeah, we have another product that is a blend, we call that Vitality Bits uh, yes, of the right. two. Yep. But, uh, and by the way, we grow the algae in triple filtered spring wa mountain water in Taiwan. Nothing's added to it, nothing's subtracted to it. It's a raw food, we don't use high heat, so it, it, it truly is the safest, purest nutrition that you'll ever get. Uh, and we're very proud, and I worked hard to make sure that it happened. Why Taiwan? Because and I, when I started the company, I looked all around the world because it's grown in India, China, Japan, a little bit in Hawaii, Taiwan. Taiwan is world renowned for having the highest quality algae and the highest standards for growing it. So, um, so we selected and so within, once I nailed down Taiwan, then I started looking at the different companies because these companies are 50, 100 million dollar companies. Th this is not something you're growing in your backyard. The algae industry in Asia is almost as big as the beef industry is here. Oh so these are gosh. sophisticated companies. Um, <laughs> I'm so lucky they'll even sell to us. So um, Is it a quote unquote farm? Like are these yes, farms? Uh, yes, yes. Really well, we call them farmed. It's an agricultural crop. And I and when people tell me, oh, well, you know, algae is a, 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 a a, a supplement, I point out, no, it's not. It's a crop. Mm -hmm. It's no different than broccoli or kale or tomatoes. We grow it, we grow it hydroponically in water and dry the, and then just press the water out of it. So it's almost like a raisin. Right. Um, but people are t completely misunderstood and they think it's a supplement. And I point out that supplements are made in labs mm -hmm. from artificial ingredients and algae is simply a crop and we air dry it. So it's a, basically a dried vegetable. It's a dried That's vegetable. Wild. And um, when, and, and the FDA considers it a, um, a, a, a food as well. And so that's why you'll find on our products a food ingredients label, not a supplements label. And then I also recently jumped on the tables with great excitement um, back in March because the US Congress 
uh, introduced for the very first time the Algae Agricultural Act. <laughs> because even they are recognizing that it's the most nutrient dense food, eco friendly, sustainable, and yet. Uh, and the answer, frankly, to the world hunger, um, but it's all grown in Asia, pretty much. So they're trying to encourage farmers here in America, and I hope to be one myself one day, to grow it in, in, in America, um, because and by doing so, you know, they already provide all kinds of um, uh, bonuses and stuff, mm -hmm. to, um, what is the word I'm trying to find, to farmers to grow corn and soy and, and you know, wheat, none of which are terribly right. healthy and are very, um, uh, not eco-friendly, so uh, algae is the answer. So even the U.S. Congress realizes it's food. It's food. It's not a supplement. You can't grow a supplement in right. a you, but you can grow algae in, in water. And you don't have to put it into a packaging. It's just purely as it is. You well, put you, it in you, your bag, but it's not into a pill. It's not a pill. Correct. Yeah, I, I try to. I try not to take offense. We call ours bits because they're yes. bits of food. Mm -hmm. That's where the bits came from. And also in 1974, the United Nations had a global conference on spirulina and identified it as the answer to world hunger. So this is 44 years ago. And the reason for that is because it has the highest concentration of protein in the world, 64% protein, and 40 other vitamins and minerals. So e even the United Nations recognized it ages ago as, as a food. And NASA has endorsed it for 50 years and fed it to the um, the astronauts. Like I tell you, this stuff goes goes on and on and on. And I have all the research documented. I have thousands and thousands of links to show people this this exists. I'm not making any of this up. It's just never made it into the mainstream. So I could keep on this tangent. Yeah, I so want to make spirulina. sure you talk about chlorella, chlorella. before I ask okay, you. Okay, so spirulina is a blue. The other thing is I want to point out is that spirulina is what's called a blue green algae because it has two pigments in it. One is chlorophyll, which is very cleansing, mm -hmm. and the other is called phycocyanin, which is a blue pigment. Mm -hmm. It has other healing properties to it. And one little side note is that um, I believe the Mars company a couple of years ago, um, because they were under such pressure for their chemical colorings of their M&Ms, they now grow spirulina Stop. just for the blue pigment. So the, your blue M&Ms are from spirulina. So cool, huh? At least they did one thing right. Yeah. And one, one, of the, one benefit of, this, of the pigment, spicocyanin, which is the blue pigment, is that it stops um, the growth of blood vessels to cancers and tumors. It's called anti-angiogenesis. So it does have that healing property to it. Um, and generally, we, as I say, we discuss spirulina as an energizing algae, and most of the healing properties come from chlorella. Mm -hmm. Chlorella is a green algae. Spirulina is a blue-green. So the only pigment in chlorella is chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. And it has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world. That's why it's called chlorella. Mm -hmm. um, Chlorophyll is critical because, and I discovered this, it's a fat-based pigment. Because they used, they've been using it for, you know, your mother always told you, eat your greens. And it's primarily because of the green chlorophyll, which is cleansing. And people would say, I'd say, well, what exactly is cleansing? Well, I found out what it is. P chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. So, and your, all the, your health begins at your cellular level. Your cell walls have to be healthy and the mitochondria inside have to be healthy. So chlorophyll, because it's a fat-based pigment, it heals those cell walls. And what does that mean? It means nutrients can get in and toxins can get out. So chlorophyll and chlorella in particular have been used for 50 years for cleansing purposes, healing purposes. During World War II when they ran out of blood for injured during, uh, you know, to give them a transfusion, they would give them, if they ran out of blood, they would give them liquid chlorophyll because they healed as quickly as if they had a blood transfusion. And they used it topically because it kills bacteria. And I invite your listeners or your viewers to go online and you'll see the chemical composition of chlorophyll is identical to the chemical composition of hemoglobin with the exception of one atom. In chlorophyll, it's, um, it's magnesium in the middle and in your blood, it's, it's it's iron. And I tell people, that should give you a clue right there how important chlorophyll is to your health. They're identical. That's insane. If, if it wasn't for that iron atom, literally our blood would be green. <laughs> wow, wouldn't that be cool? So chlorella, chlorella has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world, very cleansing, 25 times the amount of, of um, 
as chlorophyll as wheatgrass, a thousand times more than most um, other greens. And the other cool thing about chlorella is that it has a hard cellulose wall. Remember, spirulina has none. Well, chlorophyll, to be different, uh, has the hardest cellular wall. So hard that it actually has to be cracked at production or your body would not absorb the nutrients. And I can tell you about the, pr the process we use, which makes us unique in the, in the industry because um, most chlorella is cracked with glass beads and lead from the chlorella from the glass leaks into the chlorella so now you're taking chlorella to be healthy and you're introducing lead into your body right. which is not healthy we use a different technique we pass it through um, a sound chamber so the vibrations are what clack, crack our chlorella and someone said to me you oh woo -woo, vi like good vibrations <laughs> woo. Said, you got it you got it so but the interesting thing about this hard cellulose wall is that it attaches to toxins so it's known as a chelator so whether it's lead mercury it also pulls out alcohol. Athletes like it because it pulls out lactic acid. It will pull anything out of your body that shouldn't be there.